Hello friends and happy Monday! In today's video I will be doing lots of tidying up after company plus a little bit of deep cleaning in some areas that have been on my to-do list for way too long so let's go ahead and get into it. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Michelle and I live in North Georgia with my husband and two kids. And I'm so glad you found me. If you wanna keep up with me, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and I'd love to have you become a part of my YouTube family. As I mentioned earlier, we had company over the weekend and during those times I tend to get a little more lax with my cleaning because I'd rather spend that time with my family. Um, I don't let it get too out of hand, but as you can see, there are lots of extra cups and pillows and blankets around that just need to be put away. So in my last video, you would have seen our little puppy, Clover. Here you'll see Rosie, who was mysteriously absent the last time around. Um, Rosie and Clover are both full-blooded Yorkies, and Rosie is actually Clover's mom. So back in December, she had three puppies, two of which have already gone to their new homes. So if you check out my Instagram, I actually have a few pictures on there of all three puppies when they were little bitty. Uh, that was an interesting experience, but I do not know if I'd like to do that again.
some point over the weekend, either a dog or a person tracked in some dirt that got on the rug right here. It looked way worse in person than it does on camera, so this isn't gonna be some big impressive before and after. But I wanted to go ahead and show you how I clean spots off of my light colored rug. Um, so all I do is wet a rag and dip it into some powdered Tide and then rub the spot gently in a circular motion and that should pick it right up. I also wanted to show you guys a new cleaning tool that got delivered over the weekend. If you're not new to the cleaning world of YouTube, then I'm sure you've heard of the Bissell Steam Shot. But if you haven't, here it is. It's very budget friendly. This one costs only about $30 on Amazon. There's a slightly more expensive option, but I think the only difference is the color. And it comes with a couple more attachments that I didn't see myself using anyway. So all you do is fill it up with water, plug it in, and then wait for the little orange light to turn off. Um, and that light took a lot longer to turn off than I expected it to. So um, I, as I was waiting, I decided to go ahead and refill my wax warmer that I have sitting on my countertop. Um, I actually have a friend who makes and sells her own wax melts and they smell amazing. The one I picked, I had actually just gotten from her day before and I absolutely love it. I have a warmer in my kitchen, my entryway, and both of my kids have one in their rooms as well. So one of the areas that I find the hardest to clean is right here in this kind of like the seam where the sink meets the countertop. Um, and I will say that I was actually kind of disappointed in the steam shot at first because it didn't seem to be getting off any of the gunk that I was hoping that it would. But then I realized that the gunk that I was seeing was actually just like the glue that holds the sink and the countertop together. Um, I don't like the way it looks, but I also don't want my sink to fall out of the countertop, so it's okay. Here you can see all the junk and gunk and crumbs that the steam shot actually did get out. So after my initial disappointment, I was super duper impressed.
quick little tip to get your sink nice and shiny, especially if you have a stainless steel one like I do, is to actually wipe it dry with a microfiber cloth after you clean it and that will prevent it from getting a little too streaky. As I've mentioned before, I make my bed every single day because it helps me feel like I have my life together and it also just helps me relax at the end of the day if I can just slide into a nicely made bed. Another area that I wanted to tackle with the steam shot today is my window sills. Um, now I've cleaned this area before, but I felt like nothing could touch like those inner corners no matter how hard I tried. So here you can just see the steam shot blasting the dirt away, which is super duper satisfying.
be sure to stop by for my next video. Uh, it will actually be um, a list of places that you can use your steam shot to clean. So after using the steam shot to blast away all that dirt, there was so much like junk on my floor, so I had to vacuum it up really quickly. So one area of my house that's been bugging me but that I've also kept putting off is the spindles on my stairs. They were absolutely filthy and covered in smudges and handprints. So I finally decided to tackle that today. So all I did was spray them down with Mrs. Meyer's multi-purpose spray and any, I'm sure, multi-purpose spray would work just as well. And then I wiped them down with a rag. So super simple and it didn't take that much time to do once I actually got going. So like most of you, I have a running list of areas in my home that need a good deep cleaning or reorganizing or like decluttering or just like overall redecorating. So if you want or need some motivation or ideas, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so you don't, don't miss anything and it would mean the world to me.
Again, thank you so much for stopping by today and I will see you all again soon. Bye.